Hello and welcome to my presentation. Let me first send a big thank you to the board of the Third New Trends in Foreign Language Teaching for all the efforts and willingness to get the Congress off the ground. As you can see on this slide, this topic deals with international training of language teachers and the characteristics of their intercultural profile. To start with, I'll focus on two major points. First, the internationalization in teacher education. And second, the study conducted to dive into the intercultural profile of future language teachers. My first point concerns the running of internationalization process of higher education, and in particular, the quality expectations that arise in this process. Nobody can deny that current European language and educational policies are promoting the best possible conditions for a rich and wide training path of students and teachers coming from other contexts. These policies are widely supported by several works, and the fact is the number of benefits for a broad range of stakeholders. The university, the schools, the university trainers, the incoming and outcoming students, and by all means, for society. As a university trainers of language and literature teaching area, we take up the challenge of contributing to a complementary and international training of future teachers. This advanced training comprises the development of key competencies for lifelong learning, and one of the issues regarding multilingual competence focuses on the intercultural dimension of language learning from a competency perspective. This leads me to the main targets of this study, which are analyze the insights of future foreign language teachers about cultural and intercultural issues, and draw the intercultural profile of these future teachers as a base to enrich the quality of their international training. The study took place in a training module of the International Semester in Education, in which nine future teachers were involved in the intercultural dimension of language education. They were all trained towards the intercultural issues they should take into account as future teachers to promote the intercultural awareness in the students and what's more important, the critical cultural awareness. According to a specialized literature, the intercultural awareness starts by accepting cultural differences avoiding stereotypes and awakening intercultural attitudes. And the critical cultural awareness could be boosted if we dive into the target culture beliefs and if we ask questions that entail students' reflective thinking. I was very much concerned with these ideas, so I decided to propose two activities. The first one consisted of asking the future teachers for raising questions to be answered by their future learners. The purpose here was to observe to what extent the questions are rich enough to promote critical cultural awareness. The questions were rather different among themselves. Here, I boil down those considered good examples. How do you think people from other continents see us? What would you do to integrate a foreign student in this class? What would you like to incorporate in your culture from the British culture? And what advantages can having friends from other countries have? To move one step forward, the second activity consisted in filling a sort of questionnaire adapted from González Piñeiro, Guillén Díaz and Veth. The purpose here was to analyze the intercultural knowledge, the intercultural skills and the intercultural attitudes of the future teachers. The items provided were answered according to a Likert scale, and then we obtained the intercultural profile of the classroom as a whole. As you can see, intercultural attitudes were at the top with more than 40 out of 50. This is clearly a positive beginning for the future teachers when trying to develop the intercultural dimension of language learning, because the rule of thumb here is in the intercultural attitude. In a nutshell, we could say that incoming future teachers have a positive, a positive impact on the strategies for both campus internationalization and internationalization at home, and also 
intercultural attitudes are at the core of the intercultural dimension of future teachers and consequently of young learners. To wrap up this presentation, please find here the main references used to support the ideas. And finally, thank you very much for your kind attention and I hope you enjoyed the talk. Thank you.